have a problem with this permission slip. You didn't cut them in half evenly. Mine has two holes and Derek here just has one. Then try it. Then Derek will have two holes and mine will have one. You're not going to the water park anyway! I've asked you all here because we've got a situation. George Cooper is considering a job at a college and taking Sheldon with him. Yes! Is it far away? I hope it's far away. Maybe it's overseas. Oh, like Fiji. Hold your horses. If Sheldon walks out that door, our test scores drop hard. That affects funding, which affects your salaries. Uh, well, how can we help? Do y'all need to make George and Sheldon so happy here? They want to stay. Oh, come on. Is there anything else we can do? Yeah, Mr. Gibbons. You could do a better job at teaching the other students so we don't rely on one boy to pull up everyone's grades. Fine, we'll be nice to Sheldon. Reserved for Coach Cooper. <laughs> Would you look at that? They gave me a parking spot right by the door. Why? I guess they're starting to appreciate my talents around here. Why? Neither a man nor silly, but all right. <laughs> You're so funny, Sheldon. Oh, well, that I am. These are the flyers for the canned food drive. And Sheldon, you'll be happy to know, I made sure they were cut perfectly so that each one has exactly one and a half holes. But mine has half a hole on the top, and Derek's here has half a hole on the bottom. Ooh, what can we have here? Hey, how come you get to park by the door? Don't bother me, Wayne. Sit. And you got a new chair, too? <laughs> Are we going to watch an educational film? We're gonna watch Star Trek. Star Trek in school? Wow, he's out. What's that? Ooh, a golden whistle. What the hell is going on? You wanted to see me? When don't I want to see you, Sheldon? Come here. I have something I'd like to give you. This is a key to the faculty restaurant. No students allowed, one person at a time, and unlike the other restrooms, this one gets cleaned every night. Thank you. <laughs> no, Sheldon, thank you. You're welcome. Eventually, my mother relented and returned our things with a few minor adjustments. What's the Moosewood gang? They solve mysteries while they learn about God. Great. Georgie got his music back. What the hell is this? And as for college, my mother and father discussed it and decided that 10 was too young. So I didn't start till the ripe old age of 11. In the meantime, I had the key to one sweet bathroom.